हेलो एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल द मिडल पाथ द पाथ विच लीड्स टू लिबरेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एड्रेस वाई फेमिनिस्ट शुड जॉइन द वीगन मोमेंट द टू मोमेंट्स शेयर कॉमन मोटिव एंड गोल्स दे ऑल्सो शेयर कॉमन एनिमीज वुमेन एंड एनिमल्स आर विक्टम्स इन आर सोसाइटी टू फिक्स दीज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ इन इक्वालिटी इन आर सोसाइटी एंड फास्ट इन द मोमेंट ऑफ लिबर्टी वी नीड टू इंटर कनेक्ट द टू मोमेंट्स टू गेन सक्सेस and eliminate the system of inequality to achieve equality we need to work together in solidarity animal liberation and human liberation are thus interdependent so now let's understand what are the similarities between the two movements these similarities help in interconnecting the two moments both the moments share common goals which are freedom from slavery dignity and respect for all both women and animals share common enemies which is the domination for women it is the patriarchy or sexism and in the case of animals the enemy is speciesism women are dominated by men while animals are dominated by human beings women and animals in our society share common problems as follows objectification victimization violence inequality lack of respect and care for example women are treated as sexual objects judged by attractive looks and cornered for doing household work and are treated as baby making machines animals on the other hand are treated as objects used for clothing food experiments circus zoo entertainment etc so both women and animals are part of victimization and are exploited both face domestic violence uh, which include physical and mental torture both women and animals are treated as property society denies that animals and women have needs feelings and both are sentient beings animals are owned by owners while women are also sold as a property in india women are sold like a property that is a uh, kanya dana is done as the animals are sold as properties women are sold in indian society too the animals also face sexism female animals are treated different from the male ones Female animals undergo forceful insemination, rape, continuous pregnancy and are treated as producers, incubators and are tortured and they suffer all the life. In animals, male infanticide is evident, while in human beings it is the opposite. Female infanticide is evident. So to eliminate all these sufferings and violence, the feminist and vegan should be allies and interconnect the two moments as we are part of this system we need to solve this problem together to end the difference and bring in equality thank you for watching this video till end and if you like my work please do support by subscribing and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video